Okay, so this is going to be the start of a new series on getting your games up and running inside of Batacera. So I covered this yesterday. If you've not checked out the full setup guide for version 37 of Batacera, check that out. So I'm starting off this series with PlayStation 3, PS3. If you've not yet hit notifications, go ahead and hit notifications because I'm going to be uploading a lot of more of these tutorials in the near future. And also check out my Retro Bat setup guides, launch box setup guides, and Retro arch setup guides so let's get into this then so what i'm going to ask you to do first is you're obviously going to need to extract your playstation 3 games for this so i've made a folder and i've got this game stored on a usb drive and if i just go to my usb drive and go to properties the format of this is actually an ntfs which works perfect with that sarah running so the game i've got for this is 007 Legends. So love it or hate it, I personally think this is a great shooter. And yes, it's like Call of Duty, but still, it's a good game. So first of all, once you've got your game extracted, you're going to have a PS3 understore game. And inside of here, you're going to have a few subfolders and a few different extra files. And you're also going to have a PS3 underscore disk.sfb. So everything's good to go, but we need to rename the actual game folder. So I'm going to right click on the game folder, go to show more options, rename. And at the end of 007 Legends, I'm going to just put dot PS3. And this is a process where all of your PlayStation 3 games running through Batacera. You need to put in place a dot PS3 at the end. Otherwise, Batacera isn't going to recognize it once you get this up and running. Next thing we're going to need to do then, once you've named this, is we need some firmware, and this acts as a BIOS, I suppose. So I'm going to leave the link in my description for this. We're going to go to the PS3 website and download the latest firmware to use in conjunction with the RPCS3 emulator that Batacera uses. So I'm going to go to the PlayStation 3 website and download this firmware. So link's going to be in my description. If I just go to update using a computer, Download PS3 update. And if you should get a little pop-up or a little window saying it can't be downloaded securely, ignore it and just go to the three horizontal bars just here and keep and keep anyway. And that's going to download it. It shouldn't take you too long. And there you go. Mine's already downloaded. So once we download this, what we need to do next is put this onto our USB drive with your PS3 games. So for this on my external hard drive alongside my PS3 game, I've got PS3 firmware folder and I'm going to just drag and drop this PS3 firmware update that I've just downloaded inside of here just for easy access. And the next thing I'm going to show you is if we go over to the RPCS3 compatibility list and leave the link in my description for this. Also, it's going to tell you here what games run perfectly. So the ones with green on just here means that they're flawless games. So, for example, I'm using 007 Legends because it's a great game and a part of my PS3 collection. And this one is labeled as playable for both American versions and European versions. And if we just go to the top here, we're also going to find in-game. So if we go on to the in-game section, uh, games might run, but they're not perfect and they may break and they, and they might break as well whilst you're playing them. Uh, intro as well, uh, kind of no-go areas. But the ones you need to focus on really is the playable ones. And I'm also going to make you aware that if you've got a, a bad lower end computer, then you can forget PS3. It needs quite something substantial to have your games running. So you're going to need a good processor and a fairly good graphics card. I'm using an RTX card and an i7 11th gen processor and it works fine for me. So once you've done all this and you've got your PlayStation 3 game labeled with the .ps3, and you've got your firmware, I'm going to now close this down and I'm going to head over to the laptop to show you how to set this up once we're in Batacera. Okay, so we're now inside Batacera and the first thing you really need to want to do is press F1 on your keyboard and that's going to bring us into where we can add our games and everything else. Next thing I'm going to do is just connect my USB drive with that PS3 game and the PS3 firmware. So I'm using a USB 3 port on my laptop for this and if you've got a usb free port then i recommend using that for quicker transfer times 
So next thing you're going to need to do is actually locate that drive which you've just plugged in. In my case, it comes up on the left hand side here titled new underscore volume. So from here, what we're going to need to do is just locate that PS3 game, what we put onto this drive, as well as the firmware. So I'm going to start off with the firmware. So I'm going to just go into the PS3 firmware folder. And here's our PS3 update. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this, right click on it, and I'm going to just go to copy and left click on that. So once we copied that file, what we're going to do next, I'm just going to go to the BIOS folder and I'm going to right click on it and paste that update into this folder. And there we go. So it's now copied and been pasted into Batacera's BIOS directory. Next thing we're going to need to do is go to the applications folder and go to RPCS3 config. And we're going to install that firmware, which we just copied. So if you can see this at the bottom, it says missing firmware. So if I go up to the file at the top and left click on this and just go down to where it says install firmware, open this up and the first option you're going to see is BIOS. So inside BIOS is our PS3 firmware, which is at the bottom, it's a PUP file. If I just double left click on this one, it now says accessory install PS3 firmware and LLE modules. I'm going to just check, don't show this again, and OK. So this bit's obviously going to take a little bit of time, as we can see, but just sit it out and it will be done before you know it. Whatever you do, don't turn off your computer at this point. Just let it finish this process. OK, then. So once that's finished compiling, what we're going to do next is just exit out of this emulator. So file, exit. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the USB drive where your PS3 games are. So what I'm going to do is just double left click and I'm going to also copy my 007 Legends with the .ps3 and I'm going to paste this one into the Batacera ROMs folder which is PS3 which is located here and like I said I'm going to just paste this inside of this ROMs PS3 folder. Now this can take some time especially if your game is pretty sizable. For this game it's just 8.2 gigabytes so it should take a couple of minutes. But just wait this one out. Okay, so we now got our game transferred into the ROMs PS3 folder in Retrobat. So we can disconnect our USB drive once all that's been transferred over. So unmount volume. And you can just unplug that one now. So the next thing you need to do is go back into Applications. And from here, we're going to head back to RPCS3 config. So to add your game, we're just going to go to the file at the top and we're going to go to add games. And from here, you're going to find that ROMs folder that you just put your PlayStation game into. So to find this is likely going to be under forward slash user data. And if you just pull down the top, you'll likely find it under there and you'll find the ROMs folder from just here. And then obviously we're going to look for the PlayStation 3 folder or it's going to be titled PS3. And here it is. So I'm going to just highlight this once by left clicking on it and then go to choose. And there we go. It's now appeared in the columns section. And what I'm going to do now is just load this one up. It goes through a process known as loading shaders. OK, so here we go then. So we just booted up 007 outside of Batacera and direct from the RPCS3 application. And I'm doing this just to get things speeded up. So once we open this up in Batacera, it should run quicker. But any PlayStation 3 that you install always goes through this process. It also goes through a process of each game you play of what's called shaders. So you'll notice in some games it will say loading shaders, that type of thing. But it's not always going to be that way. Once the shaders have gone into the cache, then it will be quicker. Like I said a minute ago, it will compile shaders. And I'm not sure if you've actually seen that. But at the bottom left hand screen, it said compiling shaders. So just be assured this doesn't happen every time. It's literally just a catch all of the new graphics to it, and it stores it inside of a folder. And by far, this is the best way to play your PlayStation 3 games. So I can't control anything. So what I've just done is press escape on my keyboard to exit this and don't show again. And what I'm going to do next is just go to pads at the top here. And under handlers, I'm going to put this to DualShock 3, which is the PlayStation 3 controller. 
Now, if I press save, this should now be saved to use my PlayStation 3 controller I've got connected. So I'm going to open up 007 Legends again from here. So as we can see from time to time, the video will skip. And this goes for any computer, even if you've got the best computer on earth, it's going to lag now and again when it's loading up those shaders and saving them. So here we go. What I generally do for PlayStation 3 games, to get all those shaders loaded up in one go, I'll just walk around just a little bit and just look for all the new areas which hasn't been compiled yet. And if we do that, you'll notice compiling shaders will soon disappear if you do everything on the spot. So if I just exit out of here, we're pretty much done now with that. Everything's good to go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back in the Batacera. So to do this, I'm going to go to File, Close Window, and this is now going to bring us back to the front end. So what I'm going to do next is press Start to go to Main Menu. I'm going to go to Game Settings, Update Game List, really update Game List, and press Yes. We've now got our PlayStation 3 up here. And inside of here, we've also got our game, 007 Legends. We're going to need some cover art for this, of course. So what I'm going to do is just scrape some. And here we go. We've now got artwork and the preview video. So I'm going to boot into this again using Batacero this time. And so it's the same process. So PPU modules, exactly the same as what we had just a minute ago. And here we go. So as you can see, it now boots up from Batacero. And to exit this from Batacera, I'm going to press my PS button, or you might have a different hotkey button to exit, and just exit game. Now, here comes the part where I'm going to show you how to make this look even better. So, from here, I'm going to press select on my PS3 controller, which brings up the view options menu, advanced system options. And from here, I'm going to go to video. I can change the aspect ratio of this. By default, it's on a 16 by 9 ratio, which is what the game was designed for. If you want to go for a 4 by 3, then that's entirely up to you. But just be aware you're going to have black bars on the side of the screen. Render resolution. Personally, I would go by the compatibility list for RPCS3, which I showed earlier on in this video. If you go higher up with some games, they will start lagging. Some games you can get away with it. Particularly this one won't get away with it. So I'm going to leave this one to default. V-Sync, I always suggest V-Sync being on as it's going to eliminate any screen tear you might face. And if we go down to render, we can boost up the anastrophic filtering. So again, if you've got a powerful system to support this, it might take a wear on it. So just be cautious of these. The higher up you go, the more drain it's going to be on your hardware. I'm going to just leave this one for four times. Anti-aliasing can stay to auto. Now, shader quality is another one we could change. Uh, by auto, it's actually on ultra, so we don't really need to be changing that one around. Output scaling is a filter, so if we put this to something like Fidelity FX Super Resolution, that one's only going to work if your GPU supports this. So just be aware of that. But by default, bilinear is a good output scaling to have. Now, if you look through the RPCS3 compatibility list, if you click on the games, it might tell you a little heads up which options under the video settings is going to work the best. There's going to be some games which, for example, might require you to enable right color buffers. Uh, Motor Storm Pacific Rift, for example, requires this one to be on. Okay, so that's it from my Batacera PS3 setup guide. I hope that helps someone out there. So if you've not done it yet, hit notifications, because like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be uploading lots more Batacera setup guides like this one today. Also, follow me on different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And also be sure to become a member. Check out my memberships option. But until next time, stay retro.